Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our playthrough in EU4 as Dith Martian. Uh, with me, your host, Lucky Marine. And we declared a war over East Friesland. However, Mecklenburg backed them up, which was a bad idea for them because we did beautiful. We. we, we arranged access through Holstein and Lerbeck and we were on their doorstep before they could even arrange their army uh, and we came in here and we stack wiped them straight away straight off the bat which swung the war enough in our favor that Friesland and the forces of Ost Friesland uh, couldn't really compete with us they had a good general I'll give them that they had a decent amount of shock general but we had the numbers, even if Munster didn't do much and sat on the ass. So we have the opportunity to piece out Mecklenburg, which involves taking land from inside the empire. And I think we take this and perhaps even the war reps and then whatever money they are willing to give us because we've had to take out a few loans to support this war so this will probably give us a little bit of inflation but it'll also pay off a lot of our loans any more any more for any more no just 68 I think we take that we take that which means we're still at war done done fine and we call that straight away we make sure this core comes in before we peace out of this war because with it being inside the empire if we were to peace out of the whole war right now austria the emperor emperor would because we don't have an alliance with him would more than likely say can you give that back and we would probably say no because that's how we roll but then we'd suddenly get an extra 10 on top of the unrest here for um, denied, giving it back. I, I don't know the, 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 the terminology. I'm sure we'll come across it very soon, but at least we're not going to get it in this province. Right. We're not going to be going home anytime soon, so let us cancel military access. Really? Okay. That's already been cancelled. Lundberg. Cancel military access with you. Because we have too many. Uh, we used Cologne as a way of sneaking around the back of one of their generals. So we'll cancel military access with you as well. Which brings us back into line with our relations and means that we're no longer losing monarch points because of it. We'll root out the corruption to the point where it's not an issue. We will pay back all our loans. We will delete our mercenary. Okay. We need to also, how many do we need on there? Three, three. Right, what do we do? We've got an election that's just come up. Do we keep this guy? 514. I think we do. We only lose 10, 13 Republican tradition, but that will tick up and it gives us a chance for 
admin diplo or military power and it gives our guy a one to every single start so it'll become a six two five which is even better yep the the losing the republican tradition is a pain in the ass but we're up at 91 it will slowly take its way back up and he's 46 i reckon we can get a full term out of him again there we go 625 beautiful we will take the military tech How many do we need for down here? Just the three, all right. Well, all we need you lot for is for making sure that they don't make any more troops. So we can pull you two off. Taking a loan, that's all right. When we've pieced out of this, I'm sure they'll be more than willing to give us money back. Okay. You see your own shit back. And I will go and get the, the, uh, the thing that we're fighting over, essentially. Don't need you there. I can pull you off. What is this? How are you doing this? Do you have more land somewhere? Do you have more land? Okay, they're wiped. I'll recall you. Right, I need volunteers to stand on you. I need at least you on there. And you can go and siege this before that. What the hell is this? How are they doing this? What is it? What? How is this? Is it something that I don't understand? Are they hiring condottieri from these or something? Is that? Is that? Is that what? Okay, thousand done. Siege this back, and we'll probably sit over here for a while because I don't know what's going on but troops are coming out of Saxambo somehow I I don't I don't I just I don't know gain two papal influence but we gain reform desire I don't care about reform desire gain the influence and we have lazy diplomats all over the place so Improve relations with Mr. Pope, man. Go tell him how beautiful he looks in that dress. And you're making. If another enemy pops out of here, then I'm calling shenanigans. Utter shenanigans. What is, what is what is going on? What has happened? What is this? Monster? Oh, monster, you utter cockwumble. Monster, we were winning. Do you not grasp the bigger picture? Wow. Really? For as long as we gain eight proud. What have you. How? Why have you done this? Do you now not, now not like me? Aggressive expansion. No, not really. You're still my friend, but I don't want to be friends with a weakling like you. I am sorry. How is... 
I still don't understand. Yeah, okay, fine. I, I, Munster, you're a fool. Yeah, an utter turbo spastic. Right, how is... How are things popping out of Sax Lambberg's ass? I don't know. There's enemy plopping up everywhere. Look, look, look at him. He's there, busy on his anvil, again, making more. Something else will pop out of here. Uh, right, well, we'll pull enough off here to quickly siege these two so nothing pops out of... See? 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 Yeah, another one. Another one popped out, and they're still going at it. They're still go. They're still trying to make troops. If someone knows how, are you under a personal union with East Frisia? That is why. So if you're under a personal union with East Frisia, then you must be in the war. If you're in the war, then why am I not at war with you? Why cannot why can I not siege your lands so that this shit little man and his hammer stops? This is bizarre. Please someone tell me that this is bizarre. This isn't This isn't real EU4, is it? This isn't real. Someone's having me on here. Yep, it's okay. There we go. Again. We control that province. I expected them to be pumping out people down here, but they're not. Okay, we've occupied those two. We can go back and properly siege the war goal. I suppose all this time, in all this time we're getting... We're getting this cord. We're still on here to stop them training troops. I say that we're still on there to stop them training troops. It's not working over here, is it? I really don't know what's going on. I answers on a postcard, comments below, please, somebody. I need to understand what's going on. How are we not at war with Sax Lansberg? I wondered why random things were popping up over here and with no link. Because I thought we'd smashed the East Frisian army a long time ago and then suddenly a one stack popped up over him. Anyway, this changes everything. It does. The Renaissance has fired. The Renaissance being an institution, one of the early ones. And where did it fire? Firenze. Florence. Florence. Very nice city. I uh, I recommend it. I, I was once stationed in a place called Livorno, which is down here somewhere. Randomly. Hundreds of miles square kind of blob. Just, just, just around there somewhere. And a place, uh, an American Air Force base called Camp Derby. And uh, we ended up getting the train... It's quite close to Pisa, actually. So, it'd be about here, actually. Yeah. So, we got the a taxi from the camp to Pisa. Lean Tower of Pisa, by the way, it's alright, but it's kind of smack in the middle of a housing estate. It's really weird. It's like shabby houses, and then suddenly this amazing leaning tower. Anyway, uh, we got on the train into Florence for a night out on the piss. And uh, ended up getting lucky and, and uh, ended up waking up in uh, a flat in Florence and spent the morning trying to find my way to the train station to get back to Pisa, then to Livorno. And... Uh, it was a beautiful city to get be lost in. It was 
absolutely breathtaking. Uh, I remember getting to the train station, turning around and going and getting lost again, just because I wanted, I wanted to experience it all. It was absolutely beautiful. I would go there again tomorrow. Might actually see if I can uh, arrange that for this summer. Absolutely beautiful city. Anyway, let's press on. You don't want to hear about my exploits. Blockades. Lose 25 admin or local unrest and autonomy change. How is my unrest at the moment? It's at plus. I could do without that. I could really do without that. I think this option stops rebels from popping. This option allows the rebels to pop. I hate losing points. I have a phobia of losing points. We'll take this now. And then this. Oh, that felt so dirty. Have you stopped? Nope, still going. Still going with his little hammer. The little bastard. Right, come on. Come on guys, let's let's get this over and done with. Actually no. No no the longer that we've not got the war goal for means the longer the call for peace will take to get here. It means that we will have chance to take out Bismar. And also burn off a little bit of aggressive expansion with the guys around us. And with the Empire as a whole. Yeah. This is this is alright, this isn't too bad. Still taking out loans. Yep, there we go. Another one popped out. Do we bother fighting you? Or do we just let you sail off into the sunset? No. Let's let's take the fight. Let's take the fight. All adds to the war score. Alright, you get straight onto there. Didn't, didn't manage to capture any ships, but... Now we don't need that many there. I think we only need three, so we will pull... One off. And you can go down here to loot a little bit. Yeah, loot a little bit. Right, that was the war goal. That was the war goal. We might get call for peace soon. I'll be surprised if we don't. Let's get you in and repairing and then we'll send you all out protecting trade. Maybe. And you're still making shit over here. That's all bastards. Do we? Oh, oh, we'll keep the, the blockade going. Every little hubs. Another loan. You better be rich. You better be rich because I will need this money. Core has come in. Unrest is still a little high. Well, that's because of war exhaustion. War exhaustion. Why is it going up? From attrition. Right, only from attrition. That's fair enough. Come on, let's get out of this war. We'll take what we can, and they will suffer what they must. Lose 29 sailors? I really don't care about sailors. It has been the most pointless update in EU4. Ever having sailors. At no point have I ever been stopped from building ships because I didn't have enough sailors. Solidify our payport relations has come in. Improve relations with Lobeck. Improve our prestige. Nah, we need 50. Lobeck, 
Arrival of rival Utrecht. Utrecht is here. What kind of... Why are they yellow? What has happened? What is this? Castilian. <gasps> oh. Oh, ha, ha. Whoa. Really? That is my alarm. And to say I am alarmed would be an, an underestimation. Well, it's not unheard of to see Castile here. But I would say it's probably a 1 in 10 chance. So many things have to align for it to happen. You're going to get really strong soon. Can we be friends with you? Now we're at war. Even then it'll be 5 to 108. Because we're, rifle, we're allied to Denmark and you hate Denmark. Oh my word. You don't even hate France. And France doesn't even hate you. This is going to be scary times. They might hate you a little bit more now that they've got direct borders with you. Wow. Wow. I wondered. I was like, what's this? What's this yellow around Utrecht? Am I still on some kind of relation screen where this is all painted yellow? No, nope, it's because. It's because. Castile got scary. Anyway, yeah, that was my alarm. There has been some interesting developments in this episode. If anybody at all can tell me why we are not at war with Saxonsburg, even though they are in a personal union under East Frisia, I would be forever grateful. I could even spot their independence. That's laughable. Can I support your independence? How about if we support the independence and then kick that war off, hopefully, straight after this, so that Austria doesn't have a chance to try and grab the land back? Interesting. Interesting indeed. Anyway, that will be... That'll be in the next episode. Um... I've been Lucky Marine. You, as always, have been amazing. You'll be even more amazing -er if you kind of let me know what has been going on in this, this episode. I'll be deeply grateful. Um, but till then, do take care.